Hey, it's Black and Abdallah here on ESPN Chicago and our YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. You can also download our podcast right there on the ESPN Chicago app. Let's talk about the Chicago Bears. They have announced that they will be featured on Hard Knocks this season. So when the Bears head to training camp in the the, the summer, in the late summer, in the fall, the Chicago Bears weekly throughout training camp will be featured on HBO's Hard Knocks. What do you think uh, initial reaction to the Bears on Hard Knocks? I think it's positive. Um, I think people are excited to see the Bears on Hard Knocks get a glimpse, you know, behind the scenes of what goes on during training camp that we don't get to see. You know, you and I were at training camp last year as long as the rest of the radio station. And so, you know, um, getting a look at practices, but this will take you, you know, behind the scenes. You'll get to know the players a little bit more. I think that, you know, you've got all the makings of a team that is set up to be on hard knocks. Like they're ready to take that next step. They won seven games last year. You bring in a number one pick in Caleb Williams. You bring in Roma Dunze. You have two top 10 picks. You have a coach who got a complete makeover. Now he's got the tight fade up top. He's Hollywood ready. He's premium cable ready. So I think this is a positive thing for the bears. And I think that, you know, for casual NFL fans that watch hard knocks to get ready for the NFL season, this will give them a glimpse inside of, what to expect from the Bears this season. I mean, other teams have been on it before, like the Lions were on it before, and they took that next step and that next leap to become a top five team. So I don't necessarily see it as like a negative thing where there's this like hard knocks curse on the teams. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers got hurt last year. He's also a 40-year-old trying to play football. Like that could just be the issue. Well, know? because of one injury this season before, there is no curse. Yeah. I also would hesitate in pointing that anyone having any level of success based on being on the program. Like, he, here's the one thing. I think it's cool. Bears fans, be excited. You'll get more content and something to watch midweek mm -hmm. throughout training camp, getting you amped, getting you ready for the football season. That, to me, is where it kind of ends as far as, like, the importance of this. Like, it will be nice that the Bears are going to have attention – they get attention already. Yeah. I mean, today on Sports Center at noon, they were l taking live footage of Matt Eberflus's press conference at OTAs. <laughs> so they are covering, national media is already covering the Chicago Bears. They're already one of the top teams as far as interest goes heading into this season. And, and so I don't see being on Hard Knocks really changing much of anything. There's already camera crews at practice every single day. Mm -hmm. The Bears have their own production staff. Local media is often at practice. Uh, so there is the element of the media being around. Yes. Are there going to be some in-depth pieces that kind of showcase some players maybe you don't know a whole lot about? Sure. That's absolutely going to be the case for Hard Knocks. We see that each and every season. But to me... Uh, that's like kind of where it dies out. I don't think this means that the team is going to be better in this upcoming season. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's going to be a curse because of hard knocks. I just think it's a nice piece of programming that will go along with what we're going to already be talking about, already be excited about, and all of uh, essentially what training camp is, because you know how it is. On this channel, we'll have you covered. Uh, ESP in Chicago will have you covered. All of the radio shows will be live from Hallis Hall each and every day. So we'll have you covered. It'll just be a nice side piece to the meal that you're already consuming throughout training camp. I also think uh, I'll be curious to see which members of the national media make the Bears their like sexy pick to make the NFC. Because there is the there isn't the like hard knocks curse. I don't believe in that. But there is the hard knocks hype. Like we did see yeah. that with the Lions. When the year the Lions were on, everybody fell in love with the team. Everybody fell in love with Dan Campbell. They didn't really accomplish anything that year. It was the year after that they made the playoffs. It was the year after that that they went to the NFC Championship game, right? So there's always people in the national media that fall in love with the team on Hard Knocks. They're like, man, Caleb Williams looks good. It's like, well, yeah, they're only putting out the good stuff. Like this is also team has the team has final say. They have editorial control. So they get to see what come, what's going to be featured that week on Hard Knocks. And they're like, hey, don't feature this. Hey, put this out. <laughs> Keep this out. Oh, oh he threw man. a couple picks in practice. Let's take that out. So there is like this element of editorial control from the Bears 
So you will have people that will be higher on the Bears than they should be and say, the Bears are going to the NFC Championship game. The Bears are going to win the division this year. And look, they could. I don't think they're going to. And the how they look on hard knocks and how Caleb looks in training camp is not going to affect my opinion on that at all. You win a couple convincing games early in the season, and you're like, okay, maybe they've got a chance. Later in the season, you go through the gauntlet that is the the you know 10 division games, like all that stuff that's in a row, all those hard games after they come back from London. Okay, then I'll start changing my opinion of what they can be. But what I see on hard knocks is not going to affect what I think of them going into the season. You mentioned national media. Uh, how do I do this without getting in trouble? <laughs> We share a lot of opinions heading into the football season, and I don't think it's just the national media that consumes hard knocks and then assumes what they see on hard knocks is going to be like that. They're the only team in the entire league mm -hmm. that's having the vibes, doing that stuff in training camp. We've seen people we work with oh, yeah. at ESPN 1000 roll in with their projections for the season and always the team on hard knocks yep. is hyped up more oh, yeah. than anyone else because it's the <laughs> only content that we are consuming outside of our own team. Yep. So each and every year, the team that's on hard knocks, it's like always go under because everyone else is going to go over because they don't see the practices from the Raiders and the chargers and the Broncos and all the other teams. They're only seeing the practices from that one team. So everyone thinks, well, that's the team to watch. Here we go. And in my other point to that, see, I think I kind of navigated that without upsetting anyone. Yeah, here you didn't the, name any names at so the radio station. Good. Yeah, I think that's something that. Yeah, as a longtime uh, host and producer, I've I've witnessed <laughs> in the past. Um, I'll say this too: being uh, a part of the conversation where the Bears are the sexy pick, that cat's already out of the bag. Yeah. They're they're already now the Lions to a certain extent last year, but they weren't featured last year. It was two seasons, two seasons ago, ago that they were featured. Mm -hmm. And and it was really they were a season off. The sexy pick in the NFL heading into the year, the Lions, it was a year off. Mm -hmm. So the Bears are already going to be that in this offseason before the announcement of hard knocks, before we even see a, a moment of uh the actual footage. I think here's what's gonna be really cool. What Hard Knocks does that is is fun to watch is if you are a fan of football, it's a documentary about football. And so if you watch it from the perspective of I'm not going to take anything I see and add that to my actual perception and opinion of the team. Yeah. It's enjoyable, right? So like uh, the slow mo of the the watering of the grass, dude. I was thinking the, the slow mo same thing. of the 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 sprinklers. Yeah, like that's cool. They'll they'll always show you something of like the equipment manager, someone that works at Hallis Hall who's been a lifer, their day to day operations behind the scenes, just the facilities. Uh, maybe where the players kind of go and spend their free time mm -hmm. outside of Hallis Hall. Like that stuff's going to be cool because it's not stuff that we usually consume. And I know you mentioned we, we've we been up there, we've seen it ourselves, but like when you put the high profile HBO production behind yeah. the mundane of running a training camp practice and seeing them set out all the stuff for the drills, seeing, uh, you know, the first uh, ball boy get there, you know, cleaning up the footballs mm -hmm. and laying them out like that stuff seems like, why would I watch that? It's actually kind of cool to watch yeah. because of the documentary aspect of the show. None of that will impact whether or not the bears are going to win more games or no. lose more games no, or no. even impact my opinion on whether or not the bears are going to win more games or lose more games. That's the stuff that I think is cool. Then also what, at, what they allow you to see inside the meeting rooms is not something that most fans get to see. No, you don't usually get to see quarterbacks learning plays, discussing the plays or even defensive players, yeah. any of that stuff. That's the stuff that hard knocks really hits it out of the park. Well, I think it'll be cool. Like you mentioned when they do the intro and you see the, yeah. And it zoomed like it does like 
the the change in uh, in depth and it's Caleb Williams like throwing to Roma Dunze like that's gonna be yeah that stuff's that's cool. gonna be cool right yeah I also think too there aren't a lot of like it's it's a highlight of hard knocks that comes every time like I'm not saying it's a highlight because someone is losing their job but whenever they do roster cuts yeah. right that's some, that stuff's cool that stuff is interesting to see the problem is with the Bears there aren't a lot of position battles besides like center like everything is kind of set some of the positions will be on back of the roster line, stuff yeah it is special so teams it, you're gonna yeah. get to know a few of the smaller names if you're a casual bears fan that you don't know right everybody knows dj moore roma dunze caleb williams keenan like everybody knows that. i imagine keenan allen is going to be featured as like the new veteran coming in yeah. like there's but there's also going to be depth guys that we don't really know their story that are coming in that you're going to find out more about as you go through the weeks of hard knocks. And I think that part of it will be interesting for bears fans because it's not just the names that you hear every single day, like Caleb Williams, it's going to be other guys that you're like, Oh, hopefully this guy makes the roster. Hopefully this guy wins this battle. Hopefully Vilas Jones is, you know, handed the show in the door like that kind of thing. Oh, you know, listen, dude, nobody there you wants go. him here. Nobody wants him. The here. only thing Adam Abdallah wants to see on hard knocks is Vilas Jones. No, no, don't put that out. Don't put that down here. Getting don't released. That, nope. Don't put that down. Getting here. cut. Nope. I don't want that down there. No, the no. bears will be on hard knocks this fall. That's right. HBO's hard knocks. What do you think, Bears fans? Leave a comment below. He's Adam Abdallah. I'm Chris Bleck. This is After Hours on ESPN Chicago.